So in this video we're going to look at an example of a partial fraction decomposition. And the example which I'm going to look at is 3x cubed plus 2x minus 1 all divided by x squared and also all divided by x squared plus 1. So when we look at this example, we first look at the numerator and we see that the highest power is x cubed, whereas if we were to expand the denominator, the highest power would be x squared times x squared, which is x to the fourth. So this is indeed a proper rational function. So we can therefore expand it immediately in terms of partial fractions. So we look first at this power of x squared here, which we can view as x multiplied by itself twice. So we can say that the partial fraction decomposition for this is going to involve a term a over x, where a is an unknown constant, plus b over x squared, where b is another unknown constant. And at this stage, having the x squared, we have the highest power in the denominator. So we have both of the terms which can be generated by having this here. And then the next term we look at is a quadratic term. It's an irreducible quadratic. This cannot be factorized. So therefore, we can write down plus cx plus d over x squared plus 1. And this is our partial fraction decomposition. And what I'm now going to do is make myself some room. We're then going to put these terms on a common denominator, which will be, by construction, this denominator here, the original one. And then we will compare the effective numerator that we're going to get on the right-hand side with the original numerator, and in that way determine the constants a, b, c, and d. So I'll pause and make some room. So the next step is to put these terms on a common denominator, and what we are going to find is that our common denominator is the original denominator, x squared, x squared plus 1. And the a term here has to be multiplied by another power of x, and it has to also be multiplied by x squared plus 1. So we're going to get a times x, x squared plus 1 plus b, which is already divided by x squared and needs to be therefore multiplied by x squared plus 1. I'll try to put more room here. And then we have cx plus d, which are already divided by x squared plus 1, and therefore need to be multiplied by a factor of x squared. And at this stage I can expand the numerator out, and what I will find is that there is an x cubed term here multiplied by a, but there is also an x cubed term here where the x squared multiplies this, so we're going to get a plus c. There is an x squared term where we have the b factor here and also where the d is multiplied by x squared. So this is therefore b plus d. There is an x to the 1 term, which involves a here. And there is another linear x term. No, I can't see one either. So that stage will stop. And then there is a constant term, which we could even explicitly write as x to the naught. And the x to the naught, or constant term, comes from the b term here, multiplying the 1. So that's plus b. So now what I'm going to do is shrink this a bit, make myself some room, and compare this side with this side. The denominators are identical, so we just need to compare the numerators. So now what we are going to do is to compare the powers of x, or the coefficients of powers of x in the numerator. So the highest power that we have 
is x cubed and we get therefore for x cubed that 3 is equal to a plus c for x squared over here we don't have any x squared coefficients so we have that 0 is equal to b plus d for x to the power of 1 over here we have 2 and on this side we have just a so that's our first easy solution we see that a is equal to 2 and then for our constant term we have that minus 1 over here is equal to b so b is minus 1 so I'll shrink this and make a little bit of room so therefore since a is 2 and a plus c is 3 this tells us that c has got to be 1 b we've already calculated to be minus 1 and b plus d is 0 so this must mean that d is 1 so these are the results for the coefficients and we can now substitute them into our initial partial fraction decomposition and write out our structure. And I'm running out of room on this side so I'm going to go on to another slide. So on the previous slide we constructed the following partial fraction decomposition of this rational proper rational function and by expanding this or putting this together into one term and looking at the numerator we were able to find these coefficients. So this tells us therefore just substituting the coefficients into this side it tells us that 3x cubed plus 2x minus 1 divided by x squared and divided by x squared plus 1 is equal to 2 over x minus 1 over x squared plus x plus 1 over x squared plus 1 and that is our um, partial fraction decomposition of this structure here and the natural thing to do now is to check this by putting together the terms on the right hand side and seeing that one indeed gets this. So check by combining the right hand side terms and I will leave that for you as an exercise. <laughs>